Hey everybody, the President of Tourists here, and I'm back at Repticon here in Tampa, Florida. And I'm going to show you around all the cool stuff. Just got here. I had to wait because they're doing it differently because of COVID. I'm going to find a place to stand, so yeah, over here. Well, they're doing it different with COVID. They give you like time slots, and you have to buy the tickets only online, not in person. Last time I went to one, didn't get them in person, but not anymore, at least at this time. So I actually got here a little bit later into my time slot, and they wouldn't let me in because they want everyone out so they could like sanitize things, even though I didn't really see them doing any sanitizing. I think it's just trying to control the amount of people that is in here. But anyways, here we are, this is Entertainment Hall here at the Florida State Fairgrounds in Tampa, Florida. And let's get looking at some of the cool stuff here at Repticon. All right. Get to it. Not sure if it goes into the other hall or not over there. I gotta go see. But uh, definitely a lot of stuff here. Well, they do have some um, food they're selling, uh, Papa John's pizza and things like that, just to let you know. Okay. Let's get looking at some of the cool stuff. Oh, wait a minute. I always like these misters. These are usually good for um, um, shoot. And I should know this because I've been thinking about getting one one time. Um, well, it escapes me at the moment. But misters and droppers, because some reptiles won't drink out of a bowl, so you have to get a mister dropper, and they like lick the leaves and get the, um, the water off of that. These are always pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> He's so sad. like a little goat. Well, if you need not just reptiles or reptile supplies, this is the place you got to come to. They have most of what you could look for. Like, look at all this. Just area after area of reptile supplies. And they have live feeders here too. You know, um, feeder crickets, stuff like that. Okay, I don't think it goes into the other uh, room. I think it's just this. Do it anyways. Yeah, a lot of, looks like a lot of toys and stuff, novelty stuff. Oh, look at this cool snake. He's holding him like this. If you make him move around, you'll see him open. I'd like to grab a business card. But uh, they have an animal encounter over there. Uh, Hermit Crab Adoption Center. And they have tortoises down there you can look at. So I don't think it's really a big deal whether you film it or not. But there's so much here to show, it doesn't really matter. But look at all these pretty snakes. I'll definitely begin some of these later. I need crickets. My turtle and my reptiles, they just eat them up. Oh, crickets looks like flightless fruit flies, which are usually good for smaller reptiles. Oh, they have um, roaches. Wax soldier, fly larvae, wax worms, giant mealworms, medium mealworms, small, 
super worms, medium super worms, and super worms. Which I've got a lot of these. Um, not all of them. I never got any of the, um, of the roaches for my reptiles. They're just No thanks. But they have a lot of feeders. Oh, hornworms. I thought about trying these, but they're pretty expensive. Look at these isopods. That's pretty cool. Springtail culture, isopod foods, live moss. I've bought in bigger boxes of like crickets. I never have any luck. They don't uh, last too long. Look at that guy. That is cool. And I've seen these guys before. Guardians of the Geckos. That's such a cool name. I just like these natural products because none of these are exactly alike, which makes them cool to me. Okay, let's get it going. Look at these. I'm not sure these are used for feeders or pets. I don't know, but I never knew there were so many of them. That is cool. See some of them down in there. Awesome. Oh, I see so many different stuff. Ah, oh, cool. Look at that. <laughs> For some snakes, there's all these different morphs and stuff. Like this one's a banana pewter bee, platinum sun glow, a bamboo pastel. That is cool. Of course, you just don't find reptiles. You find turtles and tortoises here, too. Very, very small Of course, there's some furry creatures, too. Awesome. Looks like these are yellow foots, and they are 350. Here's some red foot ones. These are leopard tortoises. Herman's tortoises. Oh, these are called cherry heads. Oh, Russian tortoises. I almost bought one of these ones. But, uh, they get pretty big. From what I understand. There's some red foot ones. See them. Okay. Why are they naked? I narrowed them. No, they're born that way. Yeah, it's a hairless oh, guinea pig. I had a guinea pig in so long. I ain't had a guinea pig in years. They were born that way. They're actually sisters. Oh, what up? Why y'all? 
I tell you, until you come to one of these, you can't appreciate how many reptiles and snakes there are out there. That is cool. There is a pastel YB clown. Could be yours for 1200 bucks. Oh, there's a lot of snakes. What? One day if I ever get in there a snake, it's going to be one with this kind of pattern because I think that's just cool. It all depends when I'm ready for it. Okay, creepiness alert, spiders. Yeah, he's a little lighter too. He's cute. That is a really big spider, guys. Ooh. Oh my god. Different sizes, but look at this. Wow, look at that guy. It's just no track. Creepiness alert, oh, creepiness right alert. No, I don't think so. This body, I don't know. I think he's kind of cute. No. Yeah, right? I find those creepy. I will not be getting one of them. These guys, these are cool. These are, these will be fun to have. But I love them. The little baby le leopard geckos are pretty fucking cute. I've always wanted a leopard. That one's looking People are looking at it. I've seen these before. I've seen these before. I've thought about getting one one time. Those are very pretty. You're right, he's gonna drop the gecko. They also have frogs here too. Frogs, toads. Oh, look at this guy. He seems to be in a very good mood. Look at something. Look at that pretty green pattern. Those are all different frogs, guys. Yeah, look at these guys. Oh, look at this big man. It's a black dragon. Tame, he said. He's $3,800. Wouldn't it be cool to have? Yeah. I just love these things. These are so cool. And they have their own personalities, too. Okay, let's keep going. So Look at the girl. Oh my God, making <laughs> <laughs> I would normally have a smug foot for that. <laughs> you call me. boy I like it. I'm taking that if you want. Oh, what are you So are these desert? They're so what? soft. No, they're tropical. Tropical? Yep. They like. Dense foliage and lots of water. We don't have to be raw, but we have to be at least able to like drink the little drops. You know what green Okay. And crickets? Yeah. Yeah. crickets too? Yeah. Okay. Well, they're, they're more active than the crickets. It's a dry, giant green anole. More better. Yeah. Oh, my feet. You can buy these? That's a Euro. I used to have a Euro Mastic. There you go, though. Oh, that's yeah. 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 My daughter wants to get one, but I'm not sure. 
Creepy spiders, guys. Mm -hmm. Different tarantulas. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, there's a spider in there someplace. These are being sold by New Moon Reptiles. That is an awesome name. These things will be about this big. Oh, more spiders. No, nah, no, thank you. Remember the video I showed you with that one spider that stretched her. More furry creatures, some rats. Ooh, and they are definitely stinky, guys. I don't know, but this doesn't seem to be as much here this year, probably because of the virus. So this is, um, yeah, this doesn't seem to be as much. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me because it's been over a year since I've been to one. I don't seem to be seeing as many, um, like I said, third time, as much stuff, but I'm going to keep showing you things. I don't know how exciting this video is going to be, but eh, I'm going to keep showing you and Vlog in the event. But they're coming back to Tampa in June, but they have Repticons regularly all over the place, especially here in Florida, just to let you know. Oh, look at those patterns on these. That is pretty. You know, when they look like this, you almost don't even think they're real, but they are. Makes my snake that I have at home look boring compared to these. Thought, like I said, I thought about getting a more colorful one. I might one time. But they're various prices, so you gotta keep that in mind. This one's 200 this one's 300 so... That one's nice. Yeah. Wow, look at all these varieties. See, when they have a bigger thing, they have this usually open. When I was here for Jurassic Quest, you can go into this other section, they would have other things going on in there too. Looks like Repticon, it's just this one part of Entertainment Hall. See, this still seems to be all empty space. Either they made it smaller on purpose because of the virus, or there's just there's not many people, uh, vendors attending these events because of the virus. I don't know. Could be both. Could be either. It could be neither. But they have so many different kinds of reptiles, turtles, tortoises, frogs, insects. For you to look at. You know, so many places never have shirts my size. That would have been cool. You may have to ask. Success! They had a double. Uh, they had. Well, I, I take two X, so they had my size. Awesome. Now, before you get stuff like this for your turtle or a reptile, make sure you do your research because some of this stuff will be good for one kind of animal, and some of it will be bad for one kind of animal. Like for example, some of the um, wood chips you get for the bedding, for a snake, if you get the wrong kind, like pine for example, it'll kill them. You gotta make sure it's specially made for a snake, for reptiles. You can't just buy the stuff you put in with hamsters. You have to get a special kind. Ooh, look at that. That is awesome. But yeah, so make sure to do your research. You can't just pick one up, throw one in um, a reptile in a tank and think it'll be okay. They're much more fragile than you think. Well, this is cool. It's like a gun-shaped purse. Oh, 
look, this is awesome. Pepsi socks. I don't know what this is. That is cool. Hey, Burger King. Awesome. This one's selling a lot of novelty stuff. Well, I keep looking around and showing you that I thought I would show you the front again. There's that animal encounters and hermit crab adoption center thing that they don't really want you to be filming unless you're taking part of it. The thing is, I technically, I don't really agree with that because if you're at a public event like this, you should have, people should be able to film it. That's it. But they have just some birds and some tortoises over there. Nothing really that exciting. Okay. Let's keep looking. You can also pick up frozen feeders here, like frozen mice. You sometimes find frozen rats and things like that. So, yep, those are frozen rats. I have to feed my snake a live rat. He won't eat anything else. I hate doing it. But if I don't, he'll die because he'll starve to death. Yeah, those are pinkies, little baby ones, and then younger ones, or slightly older than the real big ones. You have to have a big reptile to eat those. This is frozen mice. Um, I'm, I'm, excuse me, I'm, I'm curious, how do you um, dispatch them when they need to... Carbon dioxide. And that's totally painless? Absolutely. Good. And unfortunately, I have a, a snake at home. He will not eat anything but uh, live rats. And I've tried, too. Yeah? But they said ball pythons are super picky. Some of them can be, yes, sir. Yes, they can be. It's pretty cool. This lady's selling different, looks like different fossils and minerals. Awesome. Hey, how you doing? Hi. A lot of cool stuff. Now, these are very pretty. I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah. yeah I was just looking. I was just saying. I was just saying those are very pretty. Yeah. Oh, the Azurites? Mm -hmm. I used to collect this stuff a little bit when I was a kid. I haven't done it in a while. Maybe one time I'll get back to it. But uh, it's awesome. I used to have a lot of them in these little boxes, too. Reptiles he has they use this for the line? Uh, sure, a lot. Okay. Easily. That's really cool. Like sun glows too. He has he has a whole rack just just leaf. Cool. I don't know that. That's a marble cherry head. That's a hypo redfoot tortoise. So I'm not saying the names of these, am I? Hypo redfoot tortoise. And then here's a Russian tortoise. 
awesome looking. Well, I did it. I got another t-shirt and I'll show you guys this later. And they had my size, luckily. Not the color I wanted, but that's okay. Pretty doggy, aren't you? And, and uh, a canoe head, and she only grabbed the canoe head. Oh, okay. So, These guys, some um, taxidermy stuff. Okay, cool. Okay, so I didn't see a skull down there. So. Yeah. This is cool. Because he has reptiles too. Make more like snake and, and tortoise stuff, like real reptile looking. Gotcha. Um, more so than the, the uh, fantastic Some porcupines. Uh, quills. We got a couple yeah, of them. Very Thank heavy. You. Yeah. Appreciate it. Are you coming over to the thing tonight, or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. It's those trilobite um, fossils. This is from a giraffe. So that's what this is from. Can you imagine how uh, that's so big? I think you said that's $90 if you want to buy that. Feeder snakes. Pet only ball pythons. Hmm. Pretty cool stuff. Well, this place, Beasley Exotics, has a lot of different spiders. So we're gonna grab a card here. Whoa. Look at all those. Hello. Hi. That is a lot of spiders, guys. And his table goes all the way down here. Whoa. That one's a hundred bucks. Boy, collecting spiders should be certainly could be expensive. Yeah, blurred out, but there's one in there definitely. Ooh, look at that. It's more of those longer, longer ones. So I just put in the amount of you don't know. That's a big boy right there. Well, if you like spiders, this guy definitely has a lot. No, thank you. I haven't been showing as many of these business places that's actually selling them. But this one is Ward's World of Reptile Propagation. Looks like they're located in Tampa, Florida. And there's their booth right there. Let's check it out. Well, I think they do have a couple snakes. It's a year mastic. A couple of them. Unfortunately, my my year mastic Dino died last year. But I always like them. They're always cool looking. And I'm still at their table. Just going to show you some of the signs to a couple of the businesses that are selling this stuff. Redfoot Ranch. And they're the ones that has, um, how was I here earlier, the tortoises and um, guinea pigs and everything. 
This one's Hardy's Exotic Reptile Emporium. I'm going to show a few of these quickly so you get an idea of some of the vendors that's here. There's Ring Reptiles, Steve's Morphs, which is some of these you kind of saw when I was going around. Guardians of the Geckos, which I showed earlier. Here's the exotic kingdom.com. There's PSU with pet supply united.com. Constricted reptiles. Fire horse exotics. Of course, uh, new moon reptiles, which I showed earlier. That's Leko My Gecko, which I showed also. This one is Olympian Exotics. Uh, Hercules Herps. No Canine Focus Academy. These are Clutch Exotics. Royal Hemp Bedding. Of course, snakes and stuff, which I showed earlier. Those are just a variety of the vendors that are here today. But um, videos like this really won't do this justice to this place. You really got to come and uh, check them out. Okay. Okay, I think I'm heading out. I just wanted to show you. Um, around a bit and show you how it is to go to one of these Repticons. You really got to come to one of these in person. Me showing you here only gives you a taste of what it is. It's really a lot more cooler. You see the reptiles, the turtles, the insects, uh, all the supplies. Because then you come here, decide to buy one or ask questions. Make sure you ask questions because don't just buy a reptile and think, oh, it's, you know, you're going to put them in a tank and that's it. Places like this are really good for you to learn about them first. And you actually get a pretty good deal on uh, animals and supplies at a convention like this and you will from a pet store usually but I think I see things here for sale Definitely cheaper than what it'd be if I went to my local pet shop So just to let you know you can get some good deals here if you want and sometimes they'll haggle over the price but Anyways, it's in here in the entertainment hall. I believe it was called here the Florida State Fairgrounds Today is April 10th. They're coming back in June. I may come back here in June. We'll see if I do I'll film and show you around it's pretty cool. They're having some sort of auction or something, I think, to benefit charity over there. Not sure what that's about, but I've been hearing them talk about it. All right, I'm headed out. Any comments, questions, put them below. If I see anything cool, I'll just tag it on either before this part or after. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yeah. Just doing one last look see for you guys before I head out. Oh, ZooMed, which is one of the biggest um, companies around that sells pet supplies, has a booth here too. And on the way out, I just wanted to show you what the front looked like for Entertainment Hall. That's where they had it. Of course, if you come here to Repticon when they uh, do it, when they're here again, it might not necessarily be in the same uh, section. Just to let you know.